Yo, it ain't nothing new. What's gonna happen to a nigga? I don't got a clue. Riding solo through the city, oh, I thought you knew. I got them soldiers right behind me and they with it too. They ain't gonna play with you. It ain't nothing new. What's gonna happen to a nigga? I don't got a clue. Riding solo through the city, oh, I thought you knew. I got them soldiers right behind me and they with it too. They ain't gonna play with you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've reached the final chapter in the Tay K story. Now, this week is where everything's supposedly going to come to an end. Now, the jury selection and the murder trial of popular Arlington rapper Tay K is scheduled to begin tomorrow for Tuesday. That is also the day when the opening statements and testimony will begin as well. Um, the people that were involved in this case, there was four minors, three adults. Everyone has gotten any sentences range from 20 years to 40 years. One guy, the shooter, who was an adult, ended up getting life for capital murder. So two girls are testifying. So one could get 20, one could get 25 for aggravated robbery. The shooter who already got life was said from TK's homeboy Pimps, who's serving 30 years after he did not want to cooperate against him. <clears throat> it said that the shooter that got life on their case was trying to make it look like they were telling, but he ended up being the one that told. Now, Tay K is the last man standing. He did not take a plea deal. He's decided he's going to take the trial. He's got lawyers and a legal team, and they're confident. Now, it's been over three, almost three years since he was arrested after being on the run in 2017. <clears throat> According to the NBC Dallas, they reported on Monday today that the jury selection has officially started and all that stuff as previously reported tay k born Taymor mcintyre is accused of murdering a man when he was only 16 years old in june 2016 he was arrested at the time for the uh home invasion turned homicide and he was released on house arrest being that he was a juvenile <clears throat> this was all before he blew up and did the race and cut his ankle monitor off after he did that song, and he was on the road for he was on the run for three months because of that. During the time, you know, he released that song, and it quickly went viral. And the authorities believe that he murdered Mark Anthony Salivar, a twenty three year old, after a home invasion went bad. <laughs> now, but while behind bars. They accused TK of starting a prison or jail-based gang called the Rugrats. <laughs> and like the fans accused him of being suicidal. But the manager has refuted the rumors. But as far as I know right now, this is, is looking bad for him. I'm not here to judge the man because for one, I'm not a fan of him. Two, I wasn't there at the situation. It's not my job to judge. And three, that's the whole point of him going to trial. We will know if he did it for sure, for sure, based on the verdict. <clears throat> now, TK feels like, of course, he signed to a label. He got the legal representation. He going to fight his case to the end. But I'm not going to hold you. He could very well be found guilty this week based on everything. Because if they said the trial is only lasting for a week, that means they got more than enough evidence. That's why it's going to be so short. So, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's all coming to an end. And I'm not saying that to be negative or down anybody, but just it's about to be over. So we'll know for sure, for sure. What is going to happen? This stuff feels like Rondo number nine situation all over again. But yeah, this is a tough one right here. I don't know how the fans feel. Tell me how y'all feel about it, though, because, you know, I don't be responding to everybody's comments. But yeah, this it don't look good. <laughs> Worst case scenario is he get found guilty. But I'm telling you. If he were to beat this case, not in a sense of street clout, but if he beats this case, this will only add on to the image and the legacy that he set forth on himself with the song The Race. 
His biggest song, of course, is going to be used against him. That's what's gotten him denied bond. You feel what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? But in the same breath, like he, he has the success, but he can't enjoy it because of the situation he's in right now. So the trial is starting this week. I'm on the fence. I'm 50 50 with this one. I really have no idea how it's going to go. But, you know, like I said, this is. I wasn't there. I only know what I've read so far. All I can do is just say good luck. And we'll see how the rest of this week uh, goes for his trial starts this week. You know what I'm saying? And I start my new job, you know. It's going to be crazy when I get out, you know, when I go home and just, you know, I'm just going to keep I'm just going to be reading, looking for stuff so I can keep myself updated. So if the jury comes back, whatever decision, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm not going to say free take. Hey, I'm not going to say keep take. Hey. But if you're a fan, of course, you can go ahead and shout. You know, say whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? Best of luck to take it, though. But yeah, anyways, tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Do you think Take is going to walk free? Do you think Take is going to spend the rest of his life in prison? Uh, hit, you know, hit the bell so you'll be notified. And as always, thank you for tuning to Sad Season TV. I'm out. I just pray for better times. Hoping God that he would listen. I got tired of being broke. I said fuck the penny pension. If he wasn't in the league or rapping, then your name wasn't mentioned. Screaming fucking on the fire.